In the, in the domain of capacity, uh, where um, uh, we are quite active too, we have uh, quite a lot of uh, nice projects coming up. We have, um, um, we have decided to deploy uh, our, uh, a full IP backbone in Africa. Uh, so we're going to deploy two more POPs and upgrade our three existing POPs uh, to support full IP functionalities. Next to that, we're working on a special project on satellite, which uh, will be announced uh, probably early 2015. Uh, and uh, there will also be some announcements uh, around sea cables coming in the, in, in the coming uh, months. Well, I would say exciting, um, I would say evolving uh, quite fast uh, and special, different from the rest of the telecoms industry. Well, it's special because um, it's a bit of a hidden part uh, in the telecoms industry. Um, many people don't realize that uh, uh, behind uh, all the services we see in telecoms, there is all this infrastructure that is led uh, in the seabeds and uh, with all that uh, technical complexity and all that uh, very important business dimension that is not so visible for the end users. Well, I believe there will be a lot of changes. Uh, we can see both the business models changing with the arrival of uh, new players. OTTs are uh, coming uh, around and they will have a disruptive influence. And next to that, there is also a, a technological evolution which we can feel coming. Uh, SDN is going to make uh, all the networks different and this will also apply to the submarine networks. Well, initially it was a bit by chance. I was in the wholesale industry and uh, uh, some, somehow um, there was a need to work on uh, our investments for future cables. And um, I, was, uh, I was asked to take that mission. It was, I didn't have any experience in the industry at that time and so I had to learn it all fast. And um, that's how I got in. And I found it really interesting and thrilling and uh, then I decided to uh, stay as much as possible in contact. Well, I think this industry still has a very bright future ahead. Um, we, we can't imagine that uh, all of this would suddenly come to a stop. Um, so yes, uh, people who are interested and motivated by the area, I would strongly advise them to, um, to get in on board and, and to contribute.